Hello students after knowing about physical properties and uses of ethanol it's time to learn about its chemical properties so today we will learn how ethanol takes part in various chemical reactions and the products so formed the different types of chemical reactions of ethanol are dehydration reaction with sodium metal oxidation combustion esterification dehydrogenation and halogenation reactions first let us see dehydration reaction as the name suggests dehydration means the removal of water molecule so what will happen if water molecule is removed from ethanol molecule let us understand it by chemical reaction when ethanol is heated with strong acid like concentrated sulfuric acid it loses one molecule of water that is dehydrates and gives two different products at two different temperatures one if the mixture is heated up to 120 degrees celsius or 393 kelvin then it will form diethyl ether and one molecule of water now you must be wondering why we have taken two molecules of ethanol This is because the reaction mixture will not only have one molecule, right? Yes, it will have many many molecules. So here we have taken these two as representative of all other molecules just for our understanding. Now observe here that two OH molecules come out of ethanol and combine to form water molecule. and the remaining o bonds between these two ethyl molecules to give diethyl ether now if we heat this same mixture up to 170 degrees celsius or 443 kelvin and add excess of sulfuric acid then it will form unsaturated hydrocarbon that is ethene and why does this happen observe here that water molecule is released from one ethanol molecule yes one molecule of ethanol gets dehydrated instead of two here h is released from this carbon atom and oh is released from this carbon atom so now both these carbon atoms have one valency free and they bond with each other to form ethene that is compound with double bond This forms the double bond and thus product ethene is formed as a result of complete dehydration of ethanol. Hence this reaction is also used to obtain unsaturated hydrocarbons from saturated hydrocarbons. Obviously the concentrated sulfuric acid here acts as a dehydrating agent which removes water from ethanol. Now let's go ahead and learn about chemical reaction of ethanol with sodium. The reaction of ethanol with the reactive metals like sodium produces a stable molecule of sodium ethoxide. Also, ethanol loses its hydrogen to produce hydrogen gas. And what will be its chemical reaction? Yes, like this. The third chemical reaction of ethanol is oxidation reaction. Wait, did I say oxidation? Yes, I did. So what do you think happens in this reaction? It's correct. Oxygen will get added to the ethanol molecule. The chemical reaction can be written like this. When ethanol is heated with acidified K2Cr2O7 in presence of oxygen it gets oxidized to form ethanoic acid obviously in this process acidified k2cr2o7 acts as oxidizing agent and you can see one oxygen gets added in ethanol molecule during this process it changes from orange to green color therefore This process can also be used for alcohol identification in organic chemistry. And finally comes the combustion reaction of ethanol. 
As we said, students, ethanol is highly flammable liquid and thus burns very easily. Can you guess what must be produced at the end of combustion of ethanol? Correct. Just like all other combustion reactions, here also during complete combustion of ethanol, it first decomposes and then combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. The chemical equation of this reaction can be expressed as We will continue with three more reactions in our next video.